Howdy, howdy, friends, and welcome back to another super awesome Walmart Wednesday, our favorite day of the week. I really hope that I'm like, not sounds like I'm yelling at you, but my AC is blasting because it's 102 degrees out here, friends. Like, where's fall? Like, I know technically it's still summer, but a lot of places it's starting to start to show signs of fall. So we have a few new Ibotta offers that popped up today, as well as there's tons of like some Oh my gosh, dude, my eyelash got stuck. That was hilarious. <laughs> so there are a lot of rebates that I know have been around, but I only go to Walmart once a week. So that's why we're just now putting them in this here. But don't forget, you can also check out last week's Walmart haul because there are some deals that are still valid because there's a lot of those offers that had reset for me. So definitely check that video out for more deals that you can do, especially if you're working towards any sort of I bought a bonus. My midweek was $5 for 18 offers. Um, and unfortunately, no like big month long bonus yet for September. Well, yeah, we probably would have already came out, but we'll see. They might throw something out at us. Um, one thing is the giveaway winner will be announced in the video sometime. And let me tell you, I'm so excited to announce who it is. And real quick, I wanted to let you guys know about two new offers that have popped up. Um, there's one for five books for five bucks and free shipping, um, like for the kiddos, super cute. I definitely ordered some for my son. Um, so I will have that linked down in the description box below for you if you guys wanna pick up some books as well. And then the other one is for Paramount Plus, that TV subscription service. Um, we've had it, I think we do still have it, but it's gonna be like 30 bucks for the full year. It's just like a one-time fee. So basically breaks down to $2.50 a month, which is an amazing deal, um, especially with football season coming up. You're, some of those games are gonna be on there. So if you wanna score that deal as well, I have that linked down in the description box below for you. I'm so glad you guys are here and watching this video. So if you've been coming back every single week, or if this is your first time finding me and I've helped you save any sort of money at all, I hope that you would consider subscribing to my channel if you haven't already. And if you would just give this video a big thumbs up, that helps me out quite a bit. It takes a lot of time and effort to throw these videos together. So um, if you could support me that way, it's totally free to do it. I would appreciate it so much. I think that's about it for now and we'll see you guys in there. <laughs> So these holiday scented soft soaps are on rollback for a dollar. You want to pick up three and then submit over to Swagbucks for a dollar seventy-five back when you buy three. It's gonna make them just forty-one cents each. They have pumpkin, pecan pie, and apple. So you can do this a limit of two, so you can potentially grab six on one receipt. Two deals over here in the travel section. These little Tresemme's are $1.97. You can grab one, submit to Ibotta for two dollars back, making it a little three cent money maker with a limit of three and the shampoo and the conditioner both attached to that. So I'm definitely grabbing three and it does say excludes trial and travel. So if you aren't comfortable doing that, then don't do it, but it's attaching. So if they didn't want it to attach, then it wouldn't attach. Also in the trial and travel are these little Old Spice deodorants at $1.47. You'd want to pick up three because they do attach to a $5 back when you buy three. So it's going to make them a 59 cent money maker. And we are just hitting it up in the trial and travel. These Febreze fabric to goes are $1.97. They attach to a $2.30 back on Ibotta, making this a 33 cent money maker. Seriously living in this travel section right now. So these little mouthwashes are $1.97. You would want to pick up three of them because there's a $5 back when you buy three on Ibotta. So it's going to make them just 33, sorry, 30 cents a piece. That's amazing. These gum soft picks that are $2.96, you can submit to Ibotta for a dollar, to Swagbucks for a dollar, and check out 51 for a dollar, making it free. So the Ibotta offer keeps resetting on these pinkies, which is awesome, but they are all out of like the little actual pads. They only have these little combo ones, so it's still going to be a decent deal for me, and I think I'm going to grab it, but let me show you how you can grab it. So you can pick up one of the pads at $8.98. Submit to aisle for 50% back, so you'll get $4.49 back from there. And then to Ibotta for $4.50, it's gonna make one completely free. I do have that aisle link down in the description box below um, to take advantage of that offer. And when you guys use that referral link, they send me one for a buy one, get one. So what I would do is pick up two of these at $9.98 submit to the aisle rebate for $9.98 back and then to Ibotta for $9, $4.50 back on each one. It's gonna make it 98 cents for the two for me or just 49 cents each. 
All right, so I'm gonna do a Shopkick bundle and it's so random. Have you seen some of the bundles they've been doing on Shopkick? So this one is for a toothpaste and a dish soap. <laughs> and so the weird thing is you get 625 when you buy a Colgate and a Palmolive. But the Shopkick offer, it says Colgate sensitive, Max Fresh, blah, 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 all this stuff. So I was looking up for Max Fresh, which is a 396. But when you look at all the UPCs at the bottom, it does not show any of the Max Fresh even listed down there. So I'm and like scanned them all. I'm like, what the heck? So I went through and I looked and I seen it said Colgate cavity protection 2.6 out. I'm like, what? So I scanned this one. It's only a buck, friends. And yes, it works for that bundle rebate. So I'm going to pick this up for a dollar and let me show you what else we're going to grab. All right, so here's the other product we're gonna grab for that bundle. It's the Palm Olive Dish Soap at 268. We have a dollar back on Ibotta for this, as well as 50 cents back on Swagbucks. So then, these two, we're gonna get 625 kicks back from Shopkick for the bundle, which is $2.50. So after all that cash back, it's gonna make these two a 32 cent money maker. For Shopkick, take the amount of kicks, divide it by 250, and that gives you the dollar amount. These done refills are $3.94, grab two, and then submit to Ibotta for $3.99 back when you buy two. It's gonna make it $3.89 for the two, or just $1.94 each. Of course, if you don't have like the sprays already, you can grab one of those as well, but they are a little bit pricier, so you'll just adjust your math accordingly. These Febreze plugs at $3.24, you can submit to Ibotta for $3.33 back. Shoot, making it a six cent money maker. So I have a $2 back on Ibotta offer that only attaches to these three cents here. They're $3.97, so get the $2 back there and make it just $1.97. And Cuddle Weather, OMG, I love that. So these Swiffer wet cloths are $5.44. You can submit to Ibotta for $2 back, making it just $3.44. So it's a new month, so these Swagbuck offers have reset. So if you did this last, last month, you are free to do it again. The Clorox and Tiva bathroom gels are $2.68. You can pick up four, submit to Swagbucks for $8 back, $4 back for every two you buy, making them just 68 cents. Of course, you could just grab two if you'd like and it's still gonna be the same. All right, I'm a little bummed because the Shopkick offer has disappeared once I got into store, but um, I'm still gonna do it anyway because this one will still end up being a freebie for me. So these Persils are, I mean, they're showed $5.44, but I scanned it because online it was, um, what was it, cheaper? $4.77, $4 so yes. It shows $4.77. I'm going to definitely make sure that's the price that rings up. But I have a $2 Peely from, I only have one, and it's from like a few weeks ago when everybody was getting them off. So I would pay $2.77 and then submit to Ibotta for a dollar back. And then on Fetch, I have a $1.75 back. So it's going to make it just two cents. It would have been a little bit of moneymaker if Shopkick was still around because I think it was like seven, 64 cents or something like that. But still, I'm gonna grab it up. Over in the dog food aisle, I'm so bummed because this thing right here was gonna be a nice money maker. But of course, Shopkick does what Shopkick does and decrease the kicks way down. It was gonna be 950 kicks. Now it's all the way down to 125 kicks. So scratching that deal. But I wanna go over this deal with you because it's still pretty good. So it's on these little cans at 92 cents. You would wanna pick up three of them and then you would submit to Ibotta for 75 cents back when you buy three. And then to shop kick for 135 kicks between the buy and the scan, which is 54 cents. And then over to swag bucks for 75 cents back when you buy three. Whoa, I'm going to drop those. And then over to checkout 51 for 75 cents back when you buy three. So it's a lot going on, but if you need it, it's definitely worth it. I'm not going to pick it up because I don't absolutely need it. Um, but it'll make three cans completely free for you. So I'm gonna pick up one of these perfect bars at 248. I'm gonna submit to Ibotta for 65 cents back. And then I have an aisle rebate. Um, I did this like a long time ago, but you know, if you sign up for, it's through like your text messages. So they'll randomly send you stuff every once in a while. So I have a $2 back for this. So it's gonna make it a 17 cent money maker for me. I do have that aisle rebate linked down in the description box below. All you have to do is type in your phone or uh, zip code pulls up all the offers that are in your area and then type in your zip code. Wait, what did I say? <laughs> so I don't know. Let me just start over. You type in your zip code. It pulls up all the offers in your area. Then you put in your phone number for any of the offers you want to redeem and then they text it to you. So then once you buy it, you just submit a picture of your receipt to that text messages and then they send you the money to your PayPal or Venmo, Venmo whichever one is linked to your number 
and super easy. So I had planned on doing this deal on these Mott's Active Juices last week, but when I got into st the store, Shopkick had totally like just went down to five scan kicks. I'm like, what the heck? Um, but it popped back up for me, which is awesome. So they're $2.98. You can submit to Shopkick for 450 kicks, which is plus 10 sand kicks, which is $1.84. So it's gonna make these six pack just $1.14 and it is a limit of three per flavor. So you can potentially grab six. The Victor Allens are $2.98. Our Ibotta offer is now $2 back. So it's gonna make them just 98 cents with a limit of two. These Duncan like instant powdered packs for $3.98. Submit to Ibotta for $2 back. And if I did want to do this one, I'd actually get an additional 25 cents back because it would be like my third time redeeming a Dunkin' offer, but I don't think I'm gonna get it, but that's an option for y'all. The Dave's Killer Bread Bars are on rollback for $4.48. Grab two and then submit to Ibotta for $6.77 back when you buy two. It's gonna make them just $1.09 a box. And there's a dog barking <laughs> in the store. We have these ragu kettle cooked sauces at $2.62. You can submit to Ibotta for $0.85 cents back, making it just $1.77 with a limit of five. I was definitely going to grab one because we want to make lasagna tonight. But then I noticed, like, first of all, non-GMO. Okay, hold on. My son was playing with the glass jars, and I'm like, please, we do not want a jar of spaghetti sauce dumped all over the floor right now. But like these ingredients are really clean, like, and it's no added sugar. I love that. I definitely, definitely think I'm gonna grab a few more for that price point. All right, here's everything I'm planning on grabbing today. And my goodness, friends, this is a full car. I had a hard time trying to get this all set up. You can see things are just falling everywhere. My midweek was $5 for 18 offers, which I mean, it's not the best, but I'll take it because I was getting like $1 for 15 offers. I had a couple already from Walgreens and CVS, so I actually only needed 15 for today, and I'm definitely able to hit that. So what I haven't been doing is separating my grocery and my like couponing stuff, which I'm gonna do today because I have a few grocery items, and I've been noticing that my couponing budget was a little bit higher last month. I had to really work it and get some money makers to keep within my $100. And I think because I started being lazy and not separating them, but I need to do that. I'm gonna separate my grocery budget from my couponing budget, just to make sure I'm not like wasting all my like food stuff on like couponing stuff. I hope that makes sense. But I'm gonna go check out here and I'll let you know how everything goes. And my goodness, friends, I got so in the editing mode that I totally forgot to pop in the winner of the gift card. But I am so excited when I see Miss Amy Stott's name pop up. She has been consistently watching my videos, commenting. So I was so glad that you were the winner. So please send me, um, drop me a comment. I know you will. And email me over at joycouponing1 at gmail.com. That way I can get you your gift card sent over. And you know what? We've been having so much fun with this that we are just going to keep it going. I know I said through August, but I feel like it's going really well. So if you want to enter into next week's giveaway, make sure you're subscribed. Give this video a like and drop me a comment. All right, boy, do we have some things to talk about. So first things first, Shopkick. Like what the heck is going on with Shopkick? I am super annoyed with them right now. Um, I like don't even know if I want to use them anymore right now because the past couple times I've been submitting receipts to them, I've been having issues. Like they think they are updating their app because it's totally different, it's updated to help us out, but it's making things harder. You cannot go and click what offers you're redeeming for anymore. It just like automatically picks them up, but it doesn't even pick them up. So my so my one receipt for the um, grocery receipt for the Mott's, it did not pick it up. It's like no eligible items on this receipt. I'm like, what the heck? And I even went back and looked in my offers and it's still there in my homepage. So, and you can't even like submit a ticket for it because it doesn't like even um, submit it like it's so annoying so I just went and did the contact us thing so we'll see what ends up coming out with that and then I submitted my other receipt for like my couponing stuff and then that one too it just showed it was for the bundle the palm olive and the Colgate it showed me getting like 150 kicks for the Colgate but it showed me saying you've already redeemed this offer on a different receipt for the palm olive which is a lie so it's just so annoying. So I don't know, I'll see what that happens once it actually processes through, if it gives it to me. If not, then I'm gonna have to submit a ticket for that. So please let me know what y'all are having um, go on with Shopkick. 
And then the other thing is swag bucks. I went to redeem and usually you can pick which like um, offers you got from there. And it didn't show the Clorox Sentiva gel. And I'm like, hmm. So then I went and looked back at the offers and it's not there anymore. And I went back and even looked at my points and it's not there anymore. So I don't know, it, did it disappear on you guys as well? So I just went and submitted my ticket or submitted my receipt through and then I went through and like submitted a ticket and just said, hey, I bought this stuff in the store. It was there. I got to my car to submit my receipt and now it's gone and I even have the screenshot. So unfortunately, things weren't as easy at Walmart as I would have liked them to be. But the one rebate app coming through clutch for us, I bought a. So I bought it. Everything went through smoothly there. So even with all the issues with Swagbucks and Shopkick, even just from Ibotta, it's still a little bit of a moneymaker haul for me because I use a $25 Fetch gift card to pay. So if you've been following me for a while as well, I am a cash cost couponer, meaning I um, only count the cash going out and cash coming in. So when I use rewards to lower my out of pocket, um, so Fetch I use at Walmart, but like Walmart, I mean Walgreens and CVS are the store rewards, um, I count that what I paid out and then any cash coming back. So say I paid like $10 cash out, but I'm getting $20 in extra care about back. Should be a $10 money maker, right? Not in my budget, I would put in $10 because that's the cash I went out. Because that money coming back is an actual real money. So that's how I make sure I stay on track and I'm not spending out a whole bunch of my actual money to get store money back. So when I do fetch, I never count that in any of my totals of my cash costs. But then when I redeem for a gift card, I'm able to lower my out of pocket for that cash cost. I hope that makes sense. If you have any questions about any of that, let me know. But everybody, um, you know, tallies or whatever you call it, their budget differently, which is totally fine as long as it works for you and as long as it's meeting the goals that you need to meet. Um, but that's just how I personally do it. So using that $25 fetch gift card lowered my out of pocket, but then I'm getting a bunch of cash back from Ibotta. That's why I'm saying it's a money maker for me. Even strictly with the Ibotta and the aisle rebates, it's still gonna be a money maker for me. We're still on the fence about swag bucks and Shopkick, what I'm actually gonna be getting back from them. My total isn't like exactly correct right now. I'm gonna have to wait to see about that. But I did get back the $9.98 from the aisle and the $2 back from the aisle for the perfect bar and the Twinkie. Twinkie? Why do I keep saying Pinky? Um, and the $5 from the Rockstar. I didn't even go over that in this deal, but I'm sure you guys all know about it. So I did that deal as well. Got that money back. Fetch $1.75. But again, that's not going into my cash budget. So yeah, the verdict's still out on what my actual cost is going to be and how big of a moneymaker it's going to be. But at the end of the day, it's going to be a moneymaker. So I do have some resources down there in the description box, such as this submit to these rebate apps. This has been so helpful when I remember to take it to the store. I had to print out some new ones and that's why, but um, that's down in the description box below to help you out just to kind of keep things organized, to kind of make sure you know where you're submitting and what money you should be getting back so you're not missing out on anything. I think that's about it for now and we'll catch you guys in the next one. Bye.